Hey, welcome YouTube. I'm Aniket and you are watching Vet Study. So today we will discuss about the parasite Opisthorchus. So this uh, Opisthorchus parasite comes under the family Opisthorchidae and this uh, fluke mainly affects the bile duct and gallbladder of the vertebrates. Uh, if we talk about the morphology, then testes are lobed, the ovary is anterior to testes and the most specific and most asked question uh, from the morphology of this parasite is the excretory bladder. Excretory, uh, remember this question, excretory bladder uh, of this parasite is y shape. So this question can be asked in your exam and this is the important from the morphology. Excretory bladder is y shape and circus sac is absent. The most important question is that excretory bladder is y-shaped in the opistorches. Okay, I am focusing on this because this question can be asked. After that, we have uh, some uh, two species basically in the opistorches. Uh, these two species are opistorches tenucollis and opistorches sinensis. Opistorches tenucollis uh, is also called as the cat liver fluke and opistorches sinensis is the oriental or Chinese liver fluke. So these uh, common names are also asked many times in the exam and you can learn them. Uh, this species which is uh, affected is the dog, cat and man and sometimes wild mammals also. Location of this parasite is the bile duct, gallbladder and intestine. So these are the locations where this par the parasite can um, lodge or can affect. Okay, uh, if you talk about the epidemiology then only fish eating animals including the men only suffer from this parasite because uh, fish play an important role in the life cycle of this parasite which uh, we will discuss later. Okay, eggs are um, small light brown in color and operculated and uh, the snail which uh, will you know uh, act as intermediate host in this case is the bithynia this question uh, can be asked in your exam a species of uh, this snail is the bithynia right so you can learn this and second uh, uh, intermediate host is the uh, fish right so uh, let's discuss about the uh, life cycle of this parasite so this parasite the embryonated egg are passed in the feces and uh, in this also uh, this embryonated egg is ingested by this snail and uh, again the mediastinum sporosus radia cercaria will be formed and uh, here one important thing is that that mediastinum is formed inside the um, snail okay and uh, this snail uh, will cercaria will come out from this snail and free swim cercaria insist in the skin of uh, flash of the freshwater fish. So, ye, uh, fish ke upar hi kya karenge? Insist karenge. And the metacercaria and the flesh or skin of freshwater are ingested by the humans because this fish can be ingested by the humans and this will go to the human. Okay. So, uh, this is the infective stage metacercaria and uh, again, uh, this embryonated egg are the uh, diagnostic stage. This uh, uh, metacercaria will exist in the duodenum and this will go to the uh, predilection site which is the biliary duct in case of uh, opistorches and adult uh, will form uh, in the bile duct and start laying eggs there okay so this is the uh, main uh, you can say the life cycle of this opistorches uh, and if we talk about the pathogenesis, uh, then uh, you can see where this parasite is going. This parasite is going to the uh, bile duct, so it will uh, obviously cause the cataral cholecystitis, biliary stasis, cholangitis, and the most important thing, uh, which will be asked in your exam, this will call, uh, cause the cholangiocarcinoma right cholangiocarcinoma this question can be asked this is very important very very important question uh, see jab hum main padhta tha to uh, i didn't know ki kya important hai kya important nahi hai aur koi bhi question matlab aa jata tha theek hai tab ye rehta tha ki ha padha tha but uh, us samay par mujhe yaad nahi rehta tha but i am telling you ki kya important hai aur sab mein se kya cheeze puchi jati hain jaise ki uh, ye excretory bladder y shape hota hai jaise ki it will cause the cholangiosarcoma this is the most important in the pathogenesis so you can learn uh, these things right and it will also cause uh, uh, diarrhea abdominal pain and joint disease these are the clinical findings you will see here and drugs like uh, hexa chlorophene uh, and praziquantel will uh, will be effective against this parasite so these are the uh, you know treatment aspect and if we talk about the control then yes uh, the control of a snail will be same whether it is fasciola, whether it is diglycelium, whether it is opistorches. So you can write the control of a snail as same in all the cases. So uh, here this parasite will end.
Now, after opistorches, we have the parasite Clonorchis sinensis. Clonorchis sinensis is uh, uh, the parasite which is very similar to the opistorches in terms of the life cycle. As we can see here, uh, the uh, life cycle starts with the embryonated egg which is passed in the feces and this embryonated egg will be ingested by the snail which is the intermediate host in this case. Uh, inter the first intermediate host is the snail and the second intermediate host is the uh, fish and the definite host is obviously the humans, right? So the snail will ingest the embryonated egg and the development for the development takes place inside the snail. The Miracidium form, Sporocyst form, Radia form and the Cercaria which is the uh, final uh, motile free swimming stage which is formed in the snail and this Cercaria leave the snail free swimming cercaria will leave the snail and insist in the uh, skin or the flesh of the freshwater fishes when it insists it will form it will be converted to the meta cercaria in the flesh or a skin of the freshwater fish and are ingested by the definitive host obviously this man will eat the this fish uh, but along with this fish this meta cercaria will also go inside this man so what will happen this will uh, exist in the duodenum as other parasite and uh, the adult will form in the biliary duct of definitive host as uh, we saw in the case of opistorches. So the life cycle is very very similar to the uh, opistorches and the somewhat pathogenesis is also similar. So this is the parasite clonorchis sinensis. Thanks for watching. If you like then please press the thumbs up and subscribe to Bed Study.